I already did one reaction fraction, a little micro of this movie, but I kind of wanted to talk about it more because it was so intriguing. Like, even my mom was like, you were too hard on the ice road. Shit, all right, let's talk about the ice road. Liam Neeson, to me, is almost like he has a Shakespearean regality to him. I mean, that might just be from Rob Roy and uh, Qui-Gon Jinn. But when I see him, I think of him as like someone to hold up. And he's gotten to this Bruce Willis category of his career where he's just like in any old crap. He's in his second movie since the pandemic started. You know what I mean? Like, I think he was in The Marksman in Prime, whatever. Maybe third, whatever. The dude is just in that phase where he can't get the number one movie in America anymore, like Taken or was The Grey? I don't know. The Grey's good, regardless of how it did at the box office. I liked it. But with this movie... It looks like a sci-fi channel movie. Like, the, this, the effects are very basic. Like, most, most filmmakers can make those explosions or that avalanche. I don't think I had an avalanche ready. Whatever. Um, the thing that bothered me was there's people that you hold in a certain esteem. Like I said, I feel like, you know, because of gangs of New York, that this dude is somehow an actor above doing these low-budget movies. But then Lawrence Fishburne shows up, and you're like, well, maybe this isn't low budget. Maybe they just threw all their money at the cast. Like, there's there's some other, like, backup actors who I recognize. And it's obviously a ripoff of Ice Road Truckers with a whole, like, you know, corporate espionage subplot. By the way, I do admire the fact, spoilers, I admire the fact that he doesn't get hooked up, hooked up with his co-star. Jesus Christ. Take two. I admire that he doesn't get hooked up with his co-star because she's clearly way younger than him. And Hollywood... And Hollywood has a history of hooking up older men with women way too young for them. I don't know. My mouth don't work today, guys. Sorry. Maybe the green shirt. Too much energy. Most people who watch it like it. It's just uh, like my review of uh, Tomorrow War, which I keep wanting to call Future War, which is a Roger Corman dinosaur movie which rips off sets from Carnosaur. My head hurts. No wonder I can't talk right. Um, but this movie, it hits too many. Like, first of all, his brother's total Sean Penn and I am Sam. And then they're like, no, 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 it's not like that. He was injured in the war. You can't make fun of him. It's like, no, no, I'll make fun of them all I want. Thank you very much. And then he's got a pet rat, and the two of them play the Of Mice and Men Lenny thing. And then, oh, that's right, the sidekick that is too young for Liam Neeson, so he doesn't hook up with her, but he plays like an older brother kind of role to her. Her name is Tantu Mantooth. <sighs> so anyways, horrible special effects aside, you know, there's little bumps of, hey, this ain't that bad once Lawrence Fishburne shows up or once the whatever. But there's a whole subplot of some miners trapped and uh, miners is in, you know, coal miners, not children. But, you know, ugh, just this movie is a mess. And I gave it like, a, what did I give it? A D plus or something like that. And people were like, come on, man. It's at least a C minus. I don't want to encourage this bad behavior from Liam Neeson. He was in The Grey. The Grey is a fantastic movie. Go watch The Grey. The Grey is so good. And then you watch this and you're like, this is what happened to him, huh? He fell into that Bruce Willis vortex of just direct-to-video movies. That's sad. I mean, not sadder than my life, but, you know, sad for Liam Neeson because he's regal. You know, he's supposed to be a king. He's not supposed to be a dude shooting a YouTube video. I'm glad Netflix has given him a gig. I wish they would give him a gig in, like, Peaky Blinders. Was he already in Peaky Blinders? If he was, please don't. Actually, please do comment. It helps me. But uh, you know what I mean. I, uh, they need to stick him in one of those shows. You know, whatever the Game of Thrones prequel is. He would do great in that. But, you know, this whole thing with him being in these $5 movies, it hurts my feelings. Knock it off.